What is Arva? Arva is a decentralized lending system that allows users to lend, borrow and earn interest on crypto assets, all without middlemen or third parties. The Arva protocol is governed by Arva holders. It's running on the Ethereum blockchain, these assets to be managed by a distributed network of computers running its software. I am Liz from KK Technologies. To understand what the Arva token well dot let's discover the Arva protocol together. Ethland. Stani Kulichov and a group of developers released Ethland in an initial coin offering, ICO, in 2017. At the time, he was frustrated at the lack of lending applications on Ethereum, and his project was built before decentralized finance even existed. The idea was to enable users to lend and borrow cryptocurrencies with each other by allowing users to borrow as receive funds in the form of a special token known as an Atakan, which is pegged to the value of another asset. This token is then encoded so lenders receive interest on deposits. Arva can also introduce additional features, such as instant loans and other type of issuing debt and credit that take advantage of the unique design properties of blockchains. In addition to the regular features seen on protocols like Compound, Arva includes notable distinguishing features such as uncollateralized loans, rate switching, flash loan and unique collateral types. How Arva works Arva allows users to lend and borrow cryptocurrencies in a decentralized and trustless manner. Users deposit funds they wish to lend, which are then collected into a pool. Borrowers may then draw from those pools when they take out a loan. These tokens can be traded or transferred as a lender wishes. To facilitate this activity, Arva issues two types of tokens, Atakans, issued to lenders, so they can collect interest on deposits, and Arva tokens, which are the native token of Arva. Arva is an algorithmic money market, meaning loans are obtained from a pool instead of being individually matched to a lender. Arva also allows users to take up loans in a different cryptocurrency than they deposited. For example, a person may deposit Ethereum, F, then withdraw stable coins to deposit into Yearn.Finance, EFI, to earn a regular yield. Let's look key features. Flash loans. Flash loans are something that many consider to be the next generation of finance. This controversial function lets users borrow large amounts of cryptocurrency with absolutely no collateral. More often than not, there is much more liquidity in Arva's money market system than loans required by borrowers. This unused liquidity can be used by those that take flash loans, which are uncollateralized loans that only exist for the span of one Ethereum block. The cryptocurrency that is borrowed must be paid back by the time the next Ethereum block has been mined. If it has not been paid back, every transaction which occurred in that span of time is cancelled. A 0.3% fee is paid for every flash loan. This allows for those without large amounts of capital to arbitrage and enact other opportunities, all within a single blockchain transaction. For instance, if you see Ethereum trading for 500 USDC on an ISWAP and 505 USDC on another decentralized exchange, you could try to arbitrage the price difference by borrowing a large amount of USDC and making quick trades. Flexible rates. Whereas other lending platforms tend to lock users into fixed or variable interest rates, Arva's rate switching function allows users to exchange between two different types of rates. This allows them to get the best interest rate on the loans by choosing between stable and variable interest rates. These stable rates are not fixed interest rates. Rather, they are a more stable form of variable interest rate, which is more constant and less susceptible to market fluctuations. Enter Arva World. Arva's second key use case is related to the governance of the Arva protocol. Holders of a cryptocurrency can discuss and vote on Arva improvement proposals, which can be implemented if accepted by a minimum number of Arva tokens. This includes changing the parameters of Arva's money market, along with managing the funds in the ecosystem reserve. Like with many other governance tokens, one Arva is equal to one vote. Arva decentralizes the DeFi application further and adds an important backstop to the ecosystem to mitigate black swan events. One challenge Arva faces is the fact that all loans are over collateralized. Unlike the traditional financial system, there is no credit score system or procedure to uniformly determine whether the borrower will be able to pay the loan back with interest. To sum up, cryptocurrency is changing the way we do business and handle finances. An example of this remains the work being done at Arv to ensure people have the opportunity to earn interest on their deposits. Arva's unique take on the process, inspired by Ethland, relies on lending pools and a safety module to ensure customer safety and peace of mind. Native tokens such as the Lend and Arv Crypto support these transactions, making the process more streamlined and safer. What are your thoughts about Arva? Would you invest in it? Let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you find this video helpful, please tap subscribe button.